Chris Chungo here. Gosh, it's a beautiful day. It's almost Christmas. And I, uh, I got a, lot of, a little Christmas message for everybody. And I'd like to tell it in the form of a Christmas uh, story or tale. And here it is, Jungo's Christmas story. One Christmas morning, I woke up, and it was the coldest I'd ever been. The heat wasn't working. The thermostat said 25 degrees. The heat wasn't on. I called my friend Don to see if he could help me. Why isn't my heat on? Don said it was probably my pilot light. He said that he had just a tool to get my pilot light lit. He said we would have to crawl under the house to get to the furnace. Even though Don told me to wait for him to get there, I knew where my furnace was and thought I'd take a look myself. I would just crawl in and fix the problem. But then just as I was halfway in, the unthinkable happened. I was stuck. Something had fallen on my legs. I couldn't move in or out. Somehow, as I was struggling to get under the house, I dislodged a giant disco ball which fell on my legs, trapping me. I was paralyzed. And my phone. Where was my phone? Meanwhile, Don came over to my house to help me light the furnace. He knocked and knocked, but he couldn't reach me. He even tried calling me on his cell phone. I could hear it ring, but I couldn't get to it. I guess Don just assumed I wasn't home, so he left. I finally became resigned that I was trapped, and I knew what I would have to start thinking. I knew that I would, I would have to eventually drink my own urine to survive. It's a good thing I found that vermouth. <laughs> That'll make it go down better. After a few P-teenies and reading a copy of Florida Fisherman that I uh, found down there, I thought I'd better get into the holiday spirit. If I'm going to be trapped here, why not make the best of it? First, I hung a Christmas decoration. Then I made a nativity scene out of some tiki salt shakers for the three kings and a toilet plunger for Jesus. I was having one of the best Christmases ever. Then after what seemed like hours, I felt a weight being lifted off my legs. It was Don. He had gotten worried and come back. He rolled the heavy disco ball off my legs, freeing me. After my traumatic experience, I was so glad to be out again. Oh, what a frightening experience. And that is my craziest Christmas story ever, how Don saved my life. <laughs> I was trapped in the cellar. You know, I'll tell you, that's the true meaning of, what's that on my head? <laughs> I still got the crazy bow on my head. <laughs> that's the true meaning of Christmas is friends, isn't it, Don? And P-teenies. And P-teenies.